Hello, welcome to Natural Hair 37. For those of you that have subscribed to my channel, you already know that I straightened my hair recently and I had it trimmed, or should I say cut. The colder months are creeping up on us, so I have decided to do a protective hairstyle challenge. This is not the first time I have done a protective hairstyle challenge. I actually did one last year, which ran from November through April. However, I have decided to do one again this year because I would like for you all, you all, to join in with me as I embark upon my protective hairstyle challenge. The challenge this year will run from November 15th through May 15th. For those that choose to embark upon this challenge with me, the rules are as follows. Number one, you must eat balanced meals daily because we all know that what's on the inside has to come out. So if you're putting the right things in your body in terms of food, then your hair would definitely reap the benefit of all the nutrients and minerals you are taking in. With that being said, number two, drink plenty of water. Try to increase your water intake. Just as with eating well-balanced meals, hydration also starts from the inside out. Let's talk about maintenance. Before starting the challenge, I suggest that you check the condition of your hair at its current state. If it looks like it needs to be trimmed or dust, you probably want to go ahead and take care of that before you start with the challenge. Now I know they say to trim your hair every six months. However, when I did my last protective challenge, I wore braid styles, mini twists, and twisted updo styles that I kept in my hair for four to six weeks. So every time I changed my style, I did a survey of my ends and dust if I felt the need. I would recommend washing your hair every two to three weeks or even once a month depending on how you choose to style your hair. I actually washed my hair once a month during last year's challenge. I also recommend deep conditioning between styles, especially if you're wearing braid styles and sewing. I recommend moisturizing your hair and scalp at least every two days using the lock method, that is liquid oil cream. During last year's challenge, I started off spritzing my hair with water every morning and every night. Then I moved to using aloe vera juice instead of water and lastly I used rose water and glycerin, which had the best moisturizing effect on my hair. I used the lock method every other day. Don't forget to massage your scalp nightly and protect your hair at night with a silk or satin bonnet or scarf. You can even opt for a silk or satin pillowcase. Let's talk about styling. You can choose long-term protective styles that last four to six weeks or low manipulated styles. Whatever you do, be sure to hide those in. I actually did a combination. I would style my hair in long-term protective styles. When I took them down, I would wash, deep condition, and hot oil my hair and wear it in a low manipulated style for a week, giving my hair a break. And then I would put it back up and repeat the process. Also, some suggested styles to help get you started would be buns, updos, braids of all types, twists of all types, wigs, and or sew-ins. I recommend not using glue. If you would like to join in on this challenge, please tell me what your favorite protective style is thus far in the comments section. Also, go over and like my Facebook page. This is where we can communicate with each other by leaving a picture of your current hair length, pictures of your protective styles you're wearing. This will also help those of us that are less creative come up with some new and different styles. So if you are joining in, please don't forget to comment and go on over to my Facebook page and leave pics and any hair related questions you may have. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Natural Hair 37.